Hi, my name is Francis Chen. I'm a professor of medicine of the Institute of Digestive Disease, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Today, I'm going to share with you about our study on the efficacy of proton pump inhibitor versus H2 receptor antagonist for the prevention of recurrent upper GI bleeding in high-risk aspirin users. This was a multi-center double-blind randomized trial of PPI versus H2RA for upper GI protection in high-risk users of low-dose aspirin. Low-dose aspirin is one of the most important causes of upper GI bleeding worldwide. A history of ulcer bleeding is a major risk factor for recurrent bleeding with aspirin use. Our aim is to compare the adequacy of upper GI protection of an H2RA versus a PPI in aspirin users at high risk of upper GI bleeding. Our hypothesis was that PPI is superior to H2RA for upper GI protection in high risk aspirin users. This was a 12 month double blind randomized multicenter trial of an H2RA versus a PPI for upper GI protection in aspirin users who had previous ulcer bleeding. Eligible patients were randomly assigned to receive either aspirin 80 mg a day plus famotidine 40 mg once daily or aspirin 80 mg a day plus rabiprazole 20 mg once daily. They were followed at regular intervals for up to 12 months. EGD was performed again if the patients were suspected to have recurrent bleed or at month 12 if no recurrent bleeding was identified. The primary endpoint was recurrent upper GI bleeding. Secondary endpoint include a composite of recurrent bleeding and endoscopic ulcers at month 12. In this study, we screened 489 patients and 270 patients were randomized. 138 were included in the repeatable group and 132 were included in the famotidine group. This slide shows the demographic characteristics of patients in the two treatment groups. As you can see, majority of the patients were male patients and their mean age was over 73. Uh, this is the caplet mite analysis of recurrent ulcer bleeding in 12 months. Uh, in the famotidin group, 3.1% of patients developed recurrent bleeding compared to 0.7% had recurrent bleeding in the repeatable group. The difference did not reach statistical significance. In terms of the composite endpoint of recurrent bleeding and endoscopic ulcers at 12 months, it was found that 7.9% in the repeatable group compared to 12.4% in the famotidine group had recurrent bleeding or endoscopic ulcers. Again, the difference did not reach statistical significance. In conclusion, a slightly lower proportion of patients receiving a PPI along with aspirin developed recurrent bleeding or ulcer than of patients receiving an H2RA with the aspirin, although this difference was not statistically significant.